Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Apple released iOS 26.2 developer beta 1 that I have here on my 17 Pro Max to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number as usual here on the 17 Pro Max. The update size is 8.52 gigabytes and I updated from iOS 26.1, the stable version. And the build number under the about screen is 23C5027F. And now let me show you the new features. Let's start with the lock screen. On the left, I have iOS 26.1 and on the right, I have 26.2 beta 1. And the first change I'm going to show you is in the customize page. When you tap on the clock, now we get a brand new slider to adjust the liquid glass effect. This new slider appears in each and every color you have in these options. And when you move it all the way to the right, it becomes more opaque. But when you move it in the opposite direction, it becomes very, very transparent, as you see here. And once you switch to the solid option, the slider disappears. So that's it with the lock screen. Now let's talk about the control center. And I spotted one small tweak. When you go to AirPlay from the media player and then tap anywhere on an empty space, the whole card disappears and it gets back again to the control center. While previously, one tap closes the AirPlay and then another tap closes the card. In the Reminders app, we got a brand new feature. When you try to create a new reminder and activate the time option, you will see a brand new toggle here called Urgent with the alarm icon next to it. When you turn on the switch, it will set an alarm for this reminder and the description says alarms will activate even when a focus is on or your device is muted, which will minimize the chances of missing your reminders. In the podcasts app, we got a brand new feature called chapters. So let me show you how it looks when I play the same episode on both and then go to the now playing screen. You notice here that we have a banner at the top that I can expand. These chapters are automatically created for you with titles, so you can jump right away to a specific part, which is very similar to the chapters we have in YouTube. The news app also got a couple of tweaks. The first one is the removal of this sports tab, and now it got replaced with following. Previously, to access the following page, you need to tap on the search. While now the search has a dedicated button that takes you to this page with the search bar, unlike merging the two pages together like before. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, they are available for download through my Patreons page, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You will see a lot of stunning wallpapers that works really well with the depth effect and the new spatial scene feature of iOS 26. And now let's get back to the new features. In Apple Music, we also got a brand new option. When you tap and hold on any of the items under the Home tab, you will see this new option called play after and it will explicitly tell you the album or the song it will play this playlist after. Under the library tab, you will see some design tweaks as well, starting from the albums page. Previously, the page title was visible and when you scroll down, it reveals the search while currently the title and the search are hidden and when you scroll down it reveals both together and the same applies to the songs page and finally the downloaded and when you go to search you will see another change instead of saying apple music like before now it says artists songs lyrics and more so maybe apple improved the search with this newer version next the photos app and the first change I noticed is in the context menu. So for example, when you open any of the photos and then tap on the ellipses at the top, you will see that the play as a slideshow is now called slideshow to give you a better look. Plus the delete option is now added to the context menu, not only at the bottom right corner like before. Similarly, when you multi-select photos, you will see the same differences. First, the delete option is added to the list now and it's positioned where the hide option used to be. Plus, we got the same naming change. Play as a slideshow is now called slideshow. In the photo editor, when you go to the cleanup feature and try to remove anything from the photo like this, now it will show you a brand new feedback button once it finishes. It should appear here in this area. So let me try this one more time. So you get those two buttons, thumbs up and thumbs down. 
when you try to give any feedback, regardless which one you choose, it will take you to a page where you can share your feedback in detail. It will upload the photos and the diagnostics details to Apple. So you can type your description here and it says at the top, your report will help improve and train Apple intelligence models and other machine learning models. In Safari, you will get a small design tweak. When you tap on this button, you will see that the padding at the bottom is now a lot smaller to make the card itself shorter. Now let's talk about all the new changes under settings and the first one is under general. When you scroll down a bit to autofill and passwords, now you will see a brand new toggle called suggest strong passwords and the description says automatically suggest unique strong passwords when some when creating accounts or changing passwords in safari and other apps again under apps and then passwords you will see some tweaks first the suggest strong passwords i showed you under the autofill settings in the newer version was originally under the passwords app and that's the difference between the two but the feature itself already exists plus we lost this save passwords option from the newer version as you see it's no longer showing in this page so that's pretty much it for today these are all the new changes i spotted in ios 26.2 developer beta 1 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video